Okay. Hi. How does this work? Oh, you ask Hi. questions of me. Hi, Oprah. All right. Hello. Hi. Um, your speech tonight was so inspiring. I'm, I'm right here. I know. Okay, I'm there hard. you are. Hi. Okay. Hi. Your speech tonight was so amazing and inspirational. I'd love to know what you feel is the greatest lesson you've learned throughout your life and career. The greatest lesson I've learned throughout my career came from Maya Angelou, actually, when I was, you know, first meeting her. And uh, after I'd known her for a while, she said, baby, you know, you need to know that when people show you who they are, you believe them the first time. Oh, you know that lesson too now. Uh, yes, first time. And uh, your problem is it takes you 29 times to see the same lesson coming in a different skirt or wearing a different pair of pants. So I think that has been one of my uh, greatest wisdom teachings is to assess uh, from people's behavior their actions, not just towards me, but towards other people, uh, who they are and how they behave, because if people talk about other people, they'll talk about you. So I think in business and in personal relationships, that's also been my greatest uh, lesson. Also staying grounded, you know, has been really great for me. Yes, sir. Hi. In the back to your left, yes. Yeah, that's you. Hello, Oprah. Congratulations, Francisco Varela from Telemundo. Thank you. You are on top of the world, we love you. What humbles you right now? What humbles me? Yes. This humbles me. Uh, when I first got, uh, when they first called me and said they wanted me to accept this, I said, I sh shouldn't be the person to get the Cecil B. DeMille Award. You know why? I was working with Reese Witherspoon uh, this past spring and winter, and I happened to just say in the uh, makeup room one morning, I said, so how many movies have you done? She goes, oh, honey child, I don't know. I don't know, it's been so many. And I then thought, I hope she doesn't ask me, because I think it's been five. And so um, I, I, I didn't understand it. And then they explained that it's about overall entertainment. Now, what I was able to do with the Oprah show and the cultural statement we were able to make throughout the world, I feel very, very, very proud of that. But I think that uh, when it comes to films that I am uh, really the new kid on the block. And I always feel like when I'm acting that I am you know, out of my box, and it's the most intimidated I ever feel. Mr. Goldfest, hello. Um, I'm curious what wisdom you could pass on to, uh, me and my friends were film school scholarship recipients of the Hollywood Foreign Press. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what wisdom can you pass on to uh, the future generation of people here in Hollywood that want to make movies? Well, the, the way to make movies is to do stuff that you love, because, you know, for 25 years I worked on The Oprah Show, and uh, Stedman will tell you that there were day nights that I came home and I almost, you know, it was hard to even like take off my clothes because I knew I was going to be getting up four hours later. But I never really felt exhausted, like I never I felt exhausted, but I never felt depleted. So do the work that comes straight from the soul of you, from your background, from stories that you've grown up with, from stories that bring you passion, from stories that you. Uh, not just yearn to tell, but that if you don't tell them, they won't get told. And when you, when you are operating, you know, the single, the single greatest uh, wisdom I think I've ever received, other than when people show you who they are, is that the key to fulfillment, success, happiness, contentment in life is when you align your personality with what your soul actually came to do. I believe everybody has a soul and has you know, their own personal spiritual energy. So when you can use your personality to serve whatever that thing is, you can't help but be successful. So if you do films that come from the interior of your soul, you do work, you do art that comes from the interior of you, it, you cannot miss. It's only when you're doing stuff that you think might make money, you think it may be uh, a hit, or you think it may uh, bring you some level of attention or success. That isn't what does it. I would have to say that all of the great, wonderful experiences of my life that have brought me to this moment have come from working from the interior of myself. And so that's why it feels so authentic, because it, it actually is. So when you do that, you'll win. 
Okay. Uh, hi, Oprah. Hi. I'm right back here. Yeah, there you are. Um, you always give such sage advice to everyone else, and I'm just curious, as you look over your life, what advice would you give to seven-year-old Oprah or 13-year-old oh, Oprah about surviving as a woman in this world? Seven, I was so sad. And um, I, at seven, all of my real love came from my teachers. And so my teachers, I would say this to anybody in this room, you have no idea of the power of noticing another human being and what it feels like when somebody knows that they have been seen, truly seen by you. It is the greatest offering you can give. And all those years of the Oprah show, the greatest lesson I learned was that, you know, after every show, uh, someone would say invariably in one way or another, um, how was that? I'd finish an interview with a father who killed his twin daughters. I'd finish an interview with a politician, Barack Obama, Joe Biden, George Bush, they, Beyonce. They all say the same thing. How is that? And so I started to see that there's this common thread in our humanity where everybody wants to know, how was that? Did I do okay? Did you hear me? And did what I say mean something to you? So I would have to say that recognizing that in other people has helped me to become, you know, a person of compassion, a person of understanding, a person who can interview anybody about anything, because I know that if the core of you is the same as the core of me, you just want to be heard. So, anyway, yes. Oprah directly, actually Oprah directly in front of you. Directly in front directly. of you. Directly. <laughs> Chris with GMA Philippines. Um, last year when Meryl Streep won this award, it felt a very different time. Trump had just won. We had all the allegations last year. With your speech, with everyone in you know solidarity, solidarity in black tonight, do you feel like the country together as a whole is moving in a better direction than we moved last year? I certainly feel that what happened, you know, I always think and know having watched it over the years through thousands and thousands of interviews and watching people in their dysfunction, that when something really negative is brewing, that there is the direct opposite reaction that is also possible. Because for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So when something as big as what started to happen in October with Harvey Weinstein started to unfold, I thought, whoa, 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 whoa. And with every day's revelation, I thought, here is an opportunity for something powerfully, um, uh, a, a powerful growth. And how do we use this moment to elevate what is happening instead of uh, victim, continually victimize ourselves? And so I, I think that um, wearing black in solidarity is one step. I think that what Time's Up is doing with the Legal Defense Fund is a major step. Uh, it was very important to all of us involved with Time's Up that it not just be about the women of Hollywood, because we're already a privileged group, but to extend to the women of the world, because as I said tonight, there isn't a, a, a culture, a race, a religion, a politic, a workplace that hasn't been affected by it. And one of the reasons why I wanted to tell Reese Taylor's story is to let people know it's been happening for a very long time when people didn't feel that they could speak up. And so there are so many women who've endured so much and remained silent and kept going because there was no other recourse. And now that we've all joined as one voice, uh, I think that those, it, 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 it is, feels like um, empowerment to those women who never had it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Would love to spend an evening. Thank you all.